extrusion process. The complete plant comprises of decoiler, copper rod straightening unit, main extruder, product cooling, length counter and taker. There are many advantages of this technology of making copper strips by continuous extrusion over the conventional method of making copper strips by rolling and drying. We use continuous cast copper rods of 12.5 mm or 16 mm dia to make copper strips in a single operation. The finished product so received is bright, annealed in continuous length and with excellent surface finish for further insulation or dispatch as bare conductor. During the manufacturing process, a process scrap or flash of 5 to 7 percent is generated. The feedstock in the form of a wire rod is accepted by a grooved wheel. As the wheel rotates, the rod is drawn into the groove. A small roller presses the feedstock into the groove so that the groove firmly grips the rod. In the area of the tooling, the groove is enclosed by the die chamber. As the rod rotates towards the abutment, it upsets, filling the groove. A combination of mechanical work and friction causes a very rapid temperature rise in the rod in this area. No additional heating is required since the process generates its own heat. Since this material is now comparatively soft, the incoming cold rod acts as a ram forcing the heated material through a port in the die channel, hence into the die. Finished material comes out of the die in bright annealed condition. The advantages of the continuous extrusion process. They are high dimensional accuracy, excellent surface finish, bright annealed material, no degradation of conductivity in the process, infinite length, minimum scrap generation, material as per exact packing requirements of the customer, instant production of finished material in a single operation and consistent mechanical properties. One of the major benefits achieved by continuous extrusion process is that the large stockpiles of unwanted products are avoided simply due to the ease in changing from one product size to another by rapid tool changes. In continuous extrusion process, the raw material is on one side and the finished product on the other side with no working inventories in intermediate stages. Being aware of the requirements of the manufacturers of electrical equipments for good quality copper flats and the problem being faced by them in procuring satisfactory material, Vimlesh Industries Private Limited embarked to set up plant and technology for continuous extrusion so as to be able